alongside the railroad tracks, a little place called Georgiana, Alabama, outside of the capital, Montgomery. And what that meant for that young lad was that every day, in fact, twice a day, he heard that screaming whistle blow as the top of the L&N line thundered past from Cincinnati, way up north, all the way down to the Crescent City, the Big Easy, there you go, New Orleans. A few years later, as a young man, just a teenager, a matter of fact, he wrote a song about it. And he was heavily influenced by the reigning king of country music of that era, Mr. Roy Acuff. And that's why I always thought, Chuck, this old Hank Williams train song was sort of an upside down Wabash cannonball of a tune entitled The Pan American. We're going to play it for you right now. Well, I have heard your stories all about your vast trains, but now I tell you about one all the southern notes have seen. She's a beauty of the side plan on this team at the sunscreen. She's a fan American on her way to New Orleans. She leaves Cincinnati and for that Dixie line. And when she passes that Nashville Tower, you can hear that whistle whine. Stick your head right out the window and feel that southern breeze. Man, you're on that Pan American on our way to New Orleans. Now, folks, if you're ever in the Southland and you want to see the scene, well, just get yourself a ticket on the Pan American Queen. There's Louisville, Nashville, Montgomery, Capital, Alabama, the Delta State of Mississippi, Carousel County, Louisiana. Where we going, gal? She lives in Cincinnati and for that Dixie line. Okay, when, when she passes that Nashville Tower, you can hear that whistle whine. Stick your head right out the window and feel that southern breeze. Man, you're on that. 